not just do that. It's gotta be against the rules. <laughs> You're just jealous that I'm gonna be your chest. Yeah, right. Hey, look, it's Steven. What? Where? Really, Eric? What? Really? What? You're such a cheater! Nah, fine. I guess I learned it from my dad. You couldn't play poker with that man without getting robbed blind. Well, if I do recall, you're a really good poker player. <laughs> I remember losing a bunch of money to you before we started dating. You look so cute when I played that at Full House. I did? Absolutely. What else did your dad teach you before he left? When I was 12, I knew how to win at chess, I knew how to jumpstart a car, and I knew how to charm a woman. Your dad was a very good mentor. I like to think it's my own good looks and my charms that went over the ladies, not my dad's advice. But still, his parenting techniques leave something to be desired. Is it too early for me to call checkmate? You think you're pretty dangerous, don't you? Well, my dad did teach me a few lessons of my own. Well, that's not fair, because your dad's still around. Not really. I mean, I haven't seen him since high school. He's always away on business trips when I come home for the holidays. Like what kind of business? He's an energy consultant. Who travels a lot? What else did your dad teach you? Enough. Okay, I see how it is. You're not gonna tell me. I will. But still, when it comes to strategy games, I always win. Check me. You have four hours, Tara. Relax. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm nervous. Do you think Steven's gonna show up to the wedding? Your ex? Why should he? He's only gonna come if he can pull some elaborate cop. He's a criminal, Tara. Nothing more. Yeah, kind of. Alana told me that he gave all the money he sold to the homeless shelter. But I, I don't know if I believe her. I mean, we used to be best friends before he got arrested. Well, I wouldn't count on it. And anyways, I have to go finish preparing. Okay. Here's your mail though. Picked it up for you on the way in. See you in a few hours. See ya. Alana, long time no see. I haven't seen you since spring break. Are you coming to my wedding? Listen to me, Tara. I'm in a bit of a situation over here. Of course you are. What do you need? Find Steven and tell him to swap the rook. Give him the address and I'm going to tell you, okay? Steven, Alana, what's going on? Do you have a pen? Yeah. Go to 44709 Riverside Avenue by the old church. Hurry. Yeah, well, you don't know him like you should. You don't 
You don't know what he's hiding from you. I know better than you do, but that's not why I'm here. You're still keeping contact with Alana, right? <laughs> keeping contact? Yeah, we've worked together. Still playing Robin Hood? We prefer the term philanthropists. Fine. What have you two confused philanthropists been doing? So she calls me asking me to swap the rope? Well... Wait, she said that to you? Yeah, why? Yo, get up, get up, no. It's a code. It means if one of us is in trouble, it means we have to call in the cavalry. And who's the cavalry? I am the cavalry. But still, I, I don't understand why she tell you that. Um, I'm her family. It's up to me to find her and my dad before the wedding. You know something, don't you? Maybe. Your dad's in town. We've been working with him. What? He's in trouble. We all are. We've gotten ourselves way over our heads with this business. Okay. Your dad's in town because he stumbled upon a very important piece of information. It's hidden in the golden handle of an antique cane. And he's trying to hand it off to the CIA before someone tries to kill him for it. Problem is, the agents can't get to him because they keep disappearing for some reason. So, instead of hightailing it out of here and heading to Langley to give it to the headquarters, he's sticking around here because he wants to go to your wedding. We promised to give him some help getting the intel to HQ. But now Alana's missing, and I haven't gotten a chance to get hold of your dad, so I'm fearing the worst. You kept this from me? He wanted you to be safe. What was I supposed to do? Well, newsflash! My house just got broken into by thugs. Okay, okay, uh, how'd you get here? I ran, I couldn't get to the car. Oh, gosh. I, I tracked, no one was following me. Okay, no, when you're on foot, you can be tracked easily, and they could be here by now. They probably saw you, especially in that dress. Where are you going? Okay, you know, we've got to get out of here. We've got to get way out of town, because the people who broke into your house are probably following you. Steven, I need you to help me find my family. My wedding's in three and a half hours, and I want them to be there. Fine, I'll help you. Okay, just don't have that address. Okay, we're gonna go find the line in the deck, right? Here. story, huh? Tara and I come in here, guns blazing, finally over our differences and united for the common cause of getting you out of a situation we assumed that you weren't capable of getting out of. But there's one guard, not even armed. So tell me, how does this all wrap up so nicely? Some things just do, Steven. You have to accept that. I accept a lot of things. 
lies not being one. Where's Tara's dad? It's not my fault, Stephen. He promised me money in exchange for information. And he promised everyone safety. I had to get you guys out of the way and get you here so that you couldn't interfere. He said he'd kill you if I didn't tell him you're lying, Tara. This is who I think it is. It's Eric, Stephen. He wants intel. He promised he wouldn't hurt Dad, but he has to sell it. He's broke in gambling debts. He used money to start his new life with Tara. He's not the same man in freshman year, but he's doing it for her. Don't you get it? Your dad will not give up that intel. If there's one thing I learned about that man, it's that he has his priorities in order. He'll die before he lets that intel go. And he will not be expecting his daughter's fiance to be the one to kill him for it. He's noble, unlike someone, someone like you. Now if you excuse me, I've got a wedding to crash. Don't. You're always one for the money, Alana. My suit poems are outrageous. This is the only way I can survive. You don't con people. You sell out your friends and family. Don't try anything. I won't hesitate to shoot you. Now let's get a move on. I've orders to get you as far away from here as I possibly can, so that you don't interfere. It's up to you now, Tara. See him for the fraud he is. Oh, it's supposed to be bad luck to see the bride before the wedding. I know, but I have something I have to tell you and it just can wait. What is it? My dad's coming to the wedding. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. Uh, cause you know how he's working in the way. I know, but Alana's working in so... Oh, well, uh... In that case, I, I better go make sure that my best man's not getting cold feet. This one's for the lonely, the ones that seek and find Only to be let down, time after time This one's for the torn down, the experts at the fall Come on friends, get up now, you're not alone at all Oh, 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 oh This one's for the faithless, the ones that are surprised 